Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, July 15th, 2015 by Gaia Bumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I feel the alignment of my heart and mind. I ground in and I fly. And this is perfect for New Moon Day. We have a New Moon and Cancer Day. We know New Moon is always a time of planting seeds, setting intentions, putting out there what you want to co-create with spirit, what you want to come in and manifest in your life, in your life, in your life, <laughs> that too. Um, and we have a really interesting day. So let's start with that new moon. The new moon uh, is happening at 6.24 p.m. So we're moving through the whole day before we reach the peak of the new moon. And the new moon is a time when the sun and the moon are in alignment. And so this is actually happening at 23 degrees. And so 23 is a 5. So it actually is really beautiful. And 5 is Mercury. So that brings in the mind element, which I do think is very important in, you know, getting... I don't know, understanding what's going on with your mind in accordance with your feelings because your mind can really affect your feelings, impact your feelings. And, you know, Sun and Moon, also Mercury and Mars, all in Cancer, are lighting up our feelings. They're bringing up all of the emotions that, you know, go on under the surface, all the watery energy. So we have all that energy going on. And I like to read the Sabian symbol because I think they're really cool. Um, the Sabian symbol for 23 degrees cancer is the meeting of a literary society. And what I really take from this, a literary society, writers, authors, we are all the authors of our own life. With our imagination, with our feelings, with our thoughts, we are creating the life that, path that we're walking. So what are you creating? What story are you writing with your being right now? Are you grind, grounding in and flying, grinding in statue, <laughs> or are you kind of like so pedaling, like, oh my god, oh my god. So be conscious of what you're creating, and don't get down on yourself if you're not a fan of what it is. That can always shift. Abraham, who I love, always says, you know, the contrast is important for creating what you do want. Sometimes you have to, not always, but sometimes you have to experience what you don't want to better understand that that you do want. So, that being said, for the new moon, we have other intense energy going on today. Pluto is all up in our business. And I think it's so cool that Pluto's like, hello, here I am, transformation time, because right now pictures are being brought in of Pluto's surface for the first time. And what I love is there's a picture of Pluto, and it has a big white heart on it. Pluto has a hard reputation in astrology, but I really love Pluto. I believe that Pluto shows us the polarity of the highest highs and lowest lows the lightest light and the darkest dark. And we all have that energy and creation power within us with Pluto. And so that power is interacting with all the energy in Cancer today. We're going to have the moon opposite Pluto. Then we're going to have Mars and Mercury conjunct each other in Cancer opposite Pluto. And the conjunction, I love this Sabian symbol, the conjunction of Mercury and Mars is a very old man facing a vast dark space to the northeast. And what they say about this is he's facing the void. He's facing, you know, this thing they're calling this dark space. But what they say actually in the Sabian symbol book in, you know, processing this phrase, um, he faces the great void, that apparent darkness which is an intense light, invisible to our senses. In every darkness, there is the light. We have to find the light. Finding the silver lining, the gold on the ceiling, the feel-good place in anything. And it is possible. And so Pluto is showing us this. And it's putting into our life. And, you know, sometimes this comes with upheaval. You know, sometimes it comes with releasing old stuff, releasing old patterns, releasing old relationships, throwing away things that don't belong anymore, throwing away old belief systems, throwing away old stories that you have held on to. And so that energy is so available to us today with this new moon and with all this Pluto energy opposite the moon, um, Mars, and Mercury all today. Not to mention Mars and Mercury are coming together in Cancer, helping us shift our feelings, helping us remember our passion and be pulled in the direction of our passion. 
So the other things that are happening besides all this, too, Mercury will be at 13 degrees, revolution, evolution degree throughout the day, so up until it reaches 14 degrees a little bit later in the day. So as you're telling your story to yourself, is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? Be aware of your mind and feeling vibration. Venus is at 29 degrees, preparing to shift into Virgo before it retrogrades back into Leo again. So there's a huge opportunity for self-love. There's huge opportunity for heart chakra expansion. Be heart-centered. Be light-centered. Pluto, the lightest light, the darkest dark. Be centered here. Know that this is your true power. And the cards for today, clinging to the past. It's time to let those pasts go. It's time to let those stories go. What are the stories that are holding you back? You don't have to tell them anymore. Be a story maker. Tell your own story. That's how it starts. Other cards, slowing down and inner voice. So we need to slow down. Take some time to meditate. Take some time to just be present with yourself. This is a turtle. He carries his home on the back. That's so cancer. Be at home in your skin. Be at home in yourself for this new moon. Maybe make that part of your intentions. And then inner voice. Trust yourself. Trust your higher self. Trust the energy that's coming through. And you reach here. The dream. Your dreams can come true. The dreams of your stories can come true. But you have to take these steps. Cling to the past. Throw it away. Let it go. <laughs> that was so dramatic. Slowing down. Take it down a notch. Tune in. Follow your dreams. That is it. Happy new moon. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.